Okay, so this is kind of classic. I've been waiting for any of these hens to go broody, you know, to set the eggs to come in here, you know, and sit on the eggs to hatch them. But no one has set. And then finally, I got my incubator going, which I'm about to show you. And finally, this hen got, she went broody. And now she's sitting on no eggs. <laughs> I put them all in the incubator. And then finally, Gertrude here decides to go broody. So she's sitting on, well, actually, I put two eggs under her to give her something to hatch. And uh, what what will be cool is these eggs that I'm putting in the incubator that I, I'm about to show you, when they hatch out, I'll have her uh, be the mother hen. She won't know the difference because she'll be in that mode, you know, with the two that she hatches, and I'll just deliver the rest of them to her. So let's check out this incubator. Hey everybody, Exo Man here, and I'm getting ready. I've got my incubator to 100 degrees, as you see. And I haven't done these in a while, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to add some water to this. Uh, I'm going to hatch out some chickens, some turkins, and some chickens. And I just thought I would remind you all that this can be really fun addition to your little farm to do these chicken eggs. Now what I have here is a hova baiter. You notice I'm putting the tapered side down on these. That's really how you do them. And I've got this in this little probably hundred dollar incubator. I've got a uh, a turner. Otherwise you'll be turning these by hand and that's no fun. You don't want to turn eggs by hand. That's a turkey egg, so that's going to give me a half chicken, half turkey. And you, you, you see how that's considerably bigger. That's why I like, I really like turkeys. So I'm going to hatch out some turkeys. Oh, by the way, worth mentioning, uh, let me go over a few details of this incubator. I like this incubator because it has observation windows. You can get them with one big window. I like these two little windows. This is your thermostat. Decrease, increase, very basic. It's a, it's a wafer controlled thermostat. There's your switch, there's your wafer. The distance of the wafer controls uh, your, you know, when your heat shuts on or turns on or shuts off. This is your therm, this is your uh, element, just like your stove. And this is a circulation fan, which is, these are important elements heat, air circulation, and humidity. That's why I put the water in there for some humidity. So, it's just a very basic, reliable little unit. And then, inside of a month, you'll have chickens start hatching out in here. But you got to keep adding, you know, check your humidity. You can look online and learn what the precise humidity is for, for various birds that you hatch out. All right, so we'll do a part two and uh, see these little guys when they're chicks. We'll have Farm Girl play with them. Thanks for watching, everyone.